Hello and welcome to C++ Weekly. I'm your host Jason Turner. I am an independent contractor and trainer. In this episode I'm going to be picking up from my last episode where I gave a basic C++ 14 introduction to programming the TI MSP 430 microcontroller which so that we're all reminded has 2k of flash and only 128 bytes of RAM. Now something that I did not call attention to in the last episode is just how much RAM we are using. And in this episode we can see here the program is compiling to 738 bytes. That's a little bit big and that probably has something to do with the loop unrolling that I mentioned in the last episode. But more importantly the RAM usage is zero bytes. Now in this code we have, if we are to uh, continue our program, let's remove this breakpoint first, we have a simple red LED that is blinking. This device actually has two LEDs. It has a red one and a green one, and they are right beside each other. So let's see if we can get the green one to do something different. Now what we're going to do is start with an example that I got off of the wiki page for this TI MSP430 device, which is here. This is using an interrupt vector to um, toggle the LED0 and LED1. So let's see if we can take advantage of this interrupt vector. And we don't want to toggle them, but let's see if we can use this interrupt, which is called when the button is pressed, to just toggle the green LED, the one on the right. And we're going to start by grabbing some of this Pooler resistor button code that initiates the um, trigger of the buttons and the interrupts and enables. We're enabling the ability to read from the button. We also need to set the output direction on pin that is pin 6. We can see here LED2 is on pin 1.6. So we need to enable output for that. And that is pin 6 would be bit 7. So let's just do that. Actually, we want to do that. I find this code much more readable personally. And we've enabled the interrupts. Now we need to add our interrupt routine, which we can do here. And actually, this code is a bit out of date. It doesn't work with the um, G++ compiler that we have. And this took me a while to figure out when I was running through this. So what we need to do is actually use the GCC version, which is a different method of specifying this pragma. So the GCC version for specifying this interrupt um, pragma uh, attribute, that is, looks like this. So we are saying we want the interrupt for the port 1 vector. So if something happens on port 1 that causes an interrupt, which will be the button, then it's going to call this function. And in this function, we are going to twiddle just LED1. And let's get these defines that are being used here. This is not ideal for C++, but this is how we're going to get started. And then we'll update the code as we go along. Now, if this is all correct, then we should get an interrupt, which we'll call our interrupt service routine for port 1, whenever we press the button, which should toggle the green LED. Let's see what happens. All right, it's built, and it is launching the code on our device. 
And let's, for the sake of our own education here, put a breakpoint here and see what happens. All right, the program is running. We have the green LED on. The red one is flashing. We push the button. We get a breakpoint triggered, and the LED turns off. Let's go ahead and remove this breakpoint. So we need to clear this, interrupt, for the button. Otherwise, our interrupt service routine just keeps being called repeatedly, and that's clearly not what we're hoping that it will do. Let's rebuild that. Hopefully we got it correct. Okay, we have our red blinking light, and every time we press this, the green LED toggles. Still not terribly exciting, but this is about the extent of the devices that we have available on this hardware. But, as you may have noticed, we're still using zero bytes of RAM on the device, and the flash usage actually hasn't gone up yet. So there you have it. This is um, zero bytes of RAM usage in a C++ 14 microcontroller code for a device with 2K of, of flash and only 128 bytes of RAM. Be sure to subscribe, follow me on Twitter, and check out any of the links below.